All right, if you have a fifth generation Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, so here as you can see, their missing base system device, PCI data acquisition and signal processing controller, PCI memory controller and unknown device. First thing you need to figure out is which processor you have. There's a sixth generation i7, that's the Skylake version. We're gonna to go to Lenovo.com. We're gonna to go to support here, technical support, view PC support. You can also have it auto detect, but we're gonna go in here. We're gonna type in X1 Carbon fifth generation. So here you can see there's two, Cabby Lake and Sky Lake. We're gonna to go to Sky Lake because it's the sixth generation. But if your sticker wasn't messed up, you can also look at these type numbers. Okay, I'm clicking downloads. I'm gonna to go to manual update here and select drivers. Okay, let's download this Intel Management Engine one. All right, so there's the download here and it's gonna just save. We'll just run this one. Okay, so we'll run that download. We're gonna go back to the top, go back to the manual driver list. Oh, let's install that. Back to manual driver list. Yeah, let's just install this first because it keeps popping up. All right, install, install. All right, go back to the driver list. We're gonna go to Bluetooth and modem, and then we're gonna get the Bluetooth one. Okay, so Intel Bluetooth driver. I'm gonna download that, save that, run that one as well. Okay, yes. Next, accept, next, next, install. All right, next, accept, next. All right, we'll finish this one. We'll finish this one, and this one's done. Okay, finish that. So now we need to figure out what these three are. We're just gonna go to all updates. We're gonna go to the motherboard devices, chipsets and things. Okay, and then we're gonna scroll down, and here's Intel chipset, so we'll expand that. And then we'll download the chipset software here. We'll save that, and let's see, hopefully that's the correct one. Go to device manager so that way when we install it we can see if these finish next accept next install and install here we go finish here we go okay next accept install is that it did we get them come on and there we go. Okay, so I think that's all of them. You can see now if we minimize this, there's no more of the other section with a yellow exclamation point. So that's pretty much it.